Hi Sagittarius, welcome back to Omkara Tarot and to your October read. Let's see Sagittarius, what energies are around you this month and how maybe you can use this reading to have an even more beautiful month ahead. And of course these are general collective readings, will not resonate with all of you. Please keep that in mind, take what works for you, leave the rest. So let's begin. My angel spirit guides, please bless this reading for Sagittarius and send them the messages they need to hear the most for the month of October. Thank you. Okay, so let's begin Sagis. Welcome back all my subscribers. Welcome in newcomers. To join us, subscribe to the channel, become part of us. We welcome you in. So Sagittarius, oh you're coming into your power it seems in the month of October Sagittarius. Okay. Uh huh. All right. And secret message from the universe. Six of Wands, Sagittarius. I told you you're coming into your power, and look at this. The overall energy of your reading is the Six of Wands. This is total victory. There is something that you've been. Maybe you started uh, in the recent past. There was a goal, there was some kind of investment or something that you really wanted to set down roots with. Right now, I think you could be heavily thinking about that. It's like me by myself, how, how am I going to accomplish this goal? Mm, this is like uh, tapping into your inner knowledge, maybe praying, wishing, uh, connecting with your spirit guides, whatever this goal of yours was, which you maybe had in mind or maybe you started it already i don't know but in the month of october this is your card the strength card this makes you as powerful as uh, well more than this lion in fact because uh, sajis you can tame this lion this is like look at this card so let, uh, before I kind of clarify these cards and figure out how you're coming to into this position of power, Sagittarius, uh, let's take a Ganesha Oracle card. Let's see how Lord Ganesha is going to bless you and with what and what is the advice and then we'll start the reading. So Lord Ganesha, what do you have for my Saji gang? Blessing or a guidance? Any advice? For Sagittarius please enjoy you're going to be dancing with joy Sagittarius look at this Lord Ganesha is using this garland as a hoopla and dancing with joy well there's going to be a lot of celebration people are going to be looking at you and applauding you or kind of saying well done Sagis I don't know what this is all about but um, let's just read a few lines from the book first and uh, where is the booklet i'm sorry <laughs> just give me a second oh here it is and the number is seven forty-seven. 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 spirit is 81 81 okay sajis Joy is the state of heart and soul. Joy happens when the heart and soul unite. This union is to achieve expansion for greater good related to your divine path. Joy can create in you a sense of contentment, acceptance and serenity. Even when your life is in the flux, you feel a deep knowing that whatever might happen will be for your highest good for all involved. When you have this knowledge in you, it brings spiritual determination. Yeah, there is, there is some kind of a spiritual enlightenment or something going on with you currently as I'm doing your reading. Uh, where, where, where was I now? This brings uh, spiritual determination even through difficult circumstances such as those that you may be currently undergoing. You may ultimately find your happiness. Through this card, Ganesha acknowledges your stress and exhaustion as you work to adapt to new patterns of behavior and release your old stories. You may not be happy right now, but you can experience joy knowing that striving through a difficult situation is important. You are urged to realize that you came into this lifetime to undergo certain experiences and to learn very specific life lessons. Be honest with yourself. Allow yourself your feelings and emotions. Remember that if your heart is feeling wounded and it's 
and its healing is taking place, you are likely grappling with some deep feelings and sentiments that may have even you have that may have even been repressed feelings in you for lifetimes. Share your thoughts, feelings, emotions, and anxieties with those who can support you at this time. Joy will be joy will be the final outcome. Your energy and your inner light are shifting to reveal your reveal your life's grand plan. In this card, Ganesha holds garlands made out of iruku flowers, which have the ability to eliminate negative energy from the body and mind of a person. In your mind's eye, make an offering of garlands made of iruku flowers to Ganesha. In exchange, Ganesha blesses you with good health and freedom from ailments. So, Sagittarius, that's your message for today from Lord Ganesha. And let's also take an angel blessing card for you. Lord Ganesha, for my Saji gang, please, what do you have? Blessing, guidance advice or a message now this can't get any better for you Sagittarius I have sweetness and joy that's what you're coming into in the month of uh, October right now you may be feeling what rubbish Shaum Kara Taro look at me I'm all kind of thinking 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 going through you know my quiet time and there's no joy in my life right now well it's a state of mind it's the state of mind you can shift out of this at any moment you want right and uh, you'll have to you'll have to gather up your own courage to bring yourself to feel that joy from within and that's what's going to bring you to victory so let's start your reading and figure this out Sajis. Uh, what's the hermit uh, for Sagittarius spirit what's the hermit card <laughs> you know Sagittarius you may be feeling like this at this moment because we're already in October and October is the six of wands victory you won't see this coming it is going to be a sudden change the sudden change when the clouds disappear Sagittarius and the Sun comes out and this is the happiest card in the deck this is like from suddenly from feeling oh my god it's night and dark and cloudy and you know I'm so lonely and sad and you know I'm isolated boom there's something going to happen which is where th and this is where you're coming into the empress energy now this is not a masculine feminine card this is like the highest level of satisfaction where you sit back and say aha uh -huh. so that's why that's why i went through this that and the other but now i'm in a position to well sit and attract whatever i want right so you may not see this coming sagittarius but it's just round the corner if not already Okay, so Spirit, what happened in the recent past though? What was this Ace, Ace of Pentacles? What was the Ace of Pentacles? I think you were striving, you were striving to, yeah, pick up your courage or just maybe, mm, this could have been related to finances, Sagittarius, right? Maybe this is what you wanted, you know, you're wanting to grow your pentacle or come into a position of power whereas maybe there was a bit of a shortage right you could have been holding on to your pennies to say okay I want this but I'm not sure I'm going to get it right but with your strength and resilience Sagittarius you have started taking back control and power of your own life so this strength is nothing new to you. It started long time ago. And right now you may not have seen those kind of results. But uh, well, you don't know overnight. One second your life can change. You are, you are coming into your power now in um, October. What's the strength card spirit? Okay, now let's concentrate on the October energy and see spirit. What do we expect for Sagittarius? What can we expect? <laughs> some little offer that's going to come your way Sagittarius which is going to change your life this is like a rebirth of your whole world it's like the dead coming out of their graves and saying hey angel is blowing that trumpet and saying come alive you have a new life we're giving you a second life kind of a thing and all that has been achieved because you were strong 
you held your own this is almost like being rewarded you know so spirit what uh, what is uh, sagittarius still holding on to though uh nine of swords are you still holding on to well maybe maybe the fear the fear and the sleepless nights maybe in front of other people you behave very strong sagittarius but when you're by yourself when the world has gone to sleep at night then you sit and worry you may be showing people that hey i'm all right and everything is good and you know whatever but inside you there you know you're kind of worried still you there's a bit of fear that you're holding on to am i right spirit yes this again could be related to that pentacle right this is on your mind all the time so don't let fear hold you back i mean this this has no use for you in the month of october so spirit what should uh, sagittarius let go of completely let go of feeling that the whole world's burden is on your shoulders live a little think of your own, your emotional needs love a little uh, maybe let's see let, let's take one more yeah see love a little <laughs> spirit says you know you can take baby steps you can take baby steps into getting out of your stress and tension maybe you can call a friend or maybe give a hug to uh, you know your partner uh, being together and being sharing and caring is going to be what takes you out of this heavy burden that you seem to be carrying life is not meant to be lived feeling oppressed and repressed and like lord ganesha said this these are burdens in your mind in your soul which you've been maybe carrying for like many births right and that heaviness is continuing so spirit is saying yeah you you can share you can share you can talk to people you can um, you know offer a little love to get a little love everything is not supposed to be tight and hard and difficult we are meant to live this human life with freedom with happiness with love okay so spirit what can become sagittarius's biggest obstacle which they have to be really aware of hierophon see this is again being too strict well having rules and regulations and you know walking like that tight rope that's the image i have in my mind as somebody like you know they have their eyes closed but there's one rope and they say i cannot move left or right i can't even breathe because if i shift a little bit i'm going to fall off that rope rope so instead of having rigidity in your life try and ease out a little bit why will that become a burden spirit or or not a burden a blockage yeah because that kind of is this is like a you know what i'm saying is like there is no window there's it's 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 a circle it's a circle it's like the world is like everything is closed there there has to be an opening to allow you to breathe otherwise you know whatever is stagnant it doesn't survive uh, think about it uh, air is always in movement the planets are always in movement the sea is always in movement but if you keep or even a cup of water in a particular place stagnant for days it starts to smell stink gets riddled with diseases it becomes undrinkable so anything that is too tight and too stagnant uh, sagittarius well it leads to that feeling of the dark night of the soul right so don't allow this stagnancy to happen in your life that it becomes oppressive so now that i'm telling you i i hope you'll take this advice and yeah just just uh live a little light hearted and from what these cards and for them understanding is yes you can be strong but you can live like with a ch- that the child like innocence like enjoying every moment enjoying every breath you take uh, looking at the flowers seeing how they how they blossom go for a walk or just sing a song in the bathroom do something which is playful child child like that will open up the energies to even more success in your life 
okay spirit let's say sagittarius has heard this uh, advice and they are not going to allow themselves to worry too much and because i do see success coming for them uh, how will um, sagittarius's loved ones be seeing them like their children their people who love them their clo- close friends or you know family how will they be seeing my sagittarius in the month of eight of swords why eight of swords okay so you are okay so you are you you getting some of your wishes come true though they are going to be saying his sagittarius was very resilient very very resilient yes they were focused they were strong uh, yes there was a bit of tension in the past but this person sagittarius has is now standing head and shoulders above the others so there is victory coming for you sagittarius you can you can do it with the stress and tension or you can you know accept it with open arms and smile about it the choice is yours but the your destiny is bringing some wish fulfillment in where there is victory ahead of you okay so spirit what is your secret message to sagittarius two of wands what's the two of wands Ah, the choice. The choice is yours, Sagittarius. You can either take a step back and chill and relax, and you know, because you are coming into this place of stability. Now, you you can decide which path you want to take. You coming to this place, one way or the other. Now, either you can well, just accept it, or you can. worry about it now look at the difference between both these cards this person is put their swords down and saying thank you god i'm willing to accept whatever i'm grateful for this beautiful day and i know all the best is going to happen for me this person on the other hand is sitting up at night and saying oh my god oh my god i'm you know what should i do will it happen won't it happen spirit says here's your choice which which way do you want to accept it because we are going to give you give you this anyway right you deserve it because you worked hard for it so you can be full of joy and sweetness and happiness and accept it why not sagittarius because your overall energy is the six of wands what's the six of wands spirit for sagittarius six of wands six of wands there is a new beginning there is a new beginning coming for you sagittarius take that risk but do it in a child like way this is like this is like the fool card right i'm going to jump off that cliff and yes i'm going to accept whatever is there for me if the if you go the other route i feel this is just my feeling sagittarius if you take the more difficult path the progression may be a bit slower you're going to get there anyway you going to get there anyway but the choice is yours how how do you want to accept it with stress and tension because that's going to be a slower process but if you are happy and take that risk and say okay universe i'm ready for it boom well the tower happens and there you are okay sitting as an empress so that's all i have for you sagittarius till next time then love and light take care namaste